Okay, so for those of you that are looking at this photo, this is a, a Texas teen who was suspended for weeks over his locks hairstyle. And now his family is suing the governor. This is by a Shandellis Duster on CNN. And so his mother and his family, they're suing the district of that school where he is attending because he's actually not there. He's been suspended for three weeks. So the black high school student who was suspended over his locks hairstyle and his mother have sued the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, and the state's attorney general for allegedly failing to enforce the state's Crown Act, a law that protects against hair discrimination. So Daryl George, he's a 17 year old student at Barbers Hill High School in Mont Bellevue, Texas. And so he's been suspended for more than three weeks because officials said that his locks, which he had often wear in braids or ponytail, they violate the Barber Hill Independent School district dress code for male students so the policy does not prohibit students from wearing locks or braids but it does place limitations on hair lengths for male students stating that hair cannot be worn in a style that would allow the, the hair to extend below the top of the shirt collar below the eyebrows or below the earlobes when let down so basically they want the boys hairs to be short and cropped it can't go below the eyebrows and the earlobes and it can't extend below the shirt collar but with locks and braids depending on the lengths if it's longer hair it may extend below that but in this picture here his hair is tied up and I believe he wears his hair tied up a lot while he's attending the school, but lately they want him to cut his hair. So it also alleges that Abbott and Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton have failed to enforce the law which went into effect September the 1st. So the lawsuit notes that the plaintiffs are seeking an injunction against Abbott and Paxton to compel them to stop the district from exposing their student to disciplinary punishment and just disciplinary measures due to their locks, braids, twists, and other protective hairstyles that are alleged to be that are longer than the district's or school's length requirement. And so CNN has reached out to Abbott and Paxton's office for comment on the lawsuit as well as the attorneys for Barbara Hill's Independent School District. The filing comes days after the district asked a Texas court to clarify if its dress code violates the Crown Act. Although we believe the new law does not govern hair length, we are asking the judicial system of Texas to interpret Barbara Hill's Superintendent Greg Poole's said in a statement on Wednesday, George, his family has previously said they were told Daryl will be sent to a disciplinary alternative education program, also known as an alternative school if he refuses to cut his hair. So the family, they told CNN his locks are intertwined with strands. Now listen, the strands are intertwined from his grandfather and his father, and they do not intend on cutting him off. So it's a cultural thing. So it isn't just a hairstyle alone or something cool to wear. It is a cultural thing in the African-American culture. And so Daryl George, he's 17 years old. He's a junior and he walks to Barber Hill High School on Mondays. So. This is not the first time that Barber Hill Independent School District has faced legal action over the impact of its hair policy that it had on black students with locks. So back in 2020, if you guys remember the story of Sandy Arnold, her son DeAndre 
The story of DeAndre and Cindy Bradford, they sued the school district claiming the district's grooming policies amounted to racial discrimination and violated their children's First and Fourteenth Amendment rights. So CNN previously reported this. So both students wore locks and they had been asked to cut their hair off as well to comply with the district policy on hair length. So DeAndre Arnold was also told if he didn't cut his hair that he would not be able to participate in his own graduation ceremony. So instead of cutting his hair, Arnold transferred to another school district. Later that year, a federal court issued a preliminary injunction blocking the district from enforcing its hair length policy against Bradford's son. The case is ongoing even still to this day, according to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, which they represent the plaintiffs. So in May, Abbott signed the state's Crowned Act. So it's in Texas to protect Arnold told CNN affiliate KTRC or KTRK at the time that the law passage was the most validating feeling. So that law is there to protect people of color, people of African descent with the cultural hairstyles and protective hairstyles like braids, locks, and 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 whatnot that you see. So after all the time to get weave been fighting for after all this time we finally get what we've been fighting for so this made everything worth it because i know now that they can never do anything like this to anybody else in the state of texas he said so two dozen states two dozen have enacted a version of the crown act according to the economic policy institute California was the first to pass the measure in 2019. So the legislation for a national crown act has been unsuccessful. So it it's just two dozen states. So it hasn't been completely national yet, but a lot of states have adopted it because it's, it's like in the Hispanic culture, a kid may have more than a first a middle and a last name they might have their uncle their aunt their grandpa their grandma's name in their uh, relatives name they have long names though everybody will name the baby and it's like in the african-american culture sometimes we'll have names of family members as well but a lot of times our hair is a um, has a symbol or meaning and so a lot of people will show their hair as a self-expression of their personality or style but it also has a cultural meaning in the african-american culture so locks braids twists all these hairstyles are not only just nice or cute or fun or cool styles but they may have personal meaning for the people who are wearing them and everybody is different so they have to respect that and so i think we're going to hear a lot from this whole thing because this is a personal thing and it is discriminatory and from what i see i don't see anything wrong with this kid's hair i've seen lots of children wear their hair in locks and braids and twists and different protective hairstyles but I'm in the California area, so they've adopted that law. And so you don't see kids being suspended for three weeks because of their hair. I would think they'd be more concerned about an active shooter and coming in the school or kids coming to school with weapons or maybe uh, kids that are coming from abused homes or they're in the presence of somebody that might be an abuser of children or something like they might be more concerned about other issues that are more important than how somebody's wearing their hair we don't like the, the length of it or the style of it and it's almost what it's saying is is you have a problem with black people's hair or african people's hair how they wear it and you don't want them wearing their hair like how they normally wear or feel comfortable wearing and so that is a big problem so i would think that we're going to hear more about this story more most definitely